around. A couple prominent figures saw him as snitching by mentioning their name. And then in addition, 50 was picking on Ja Rule. And Supreme, he was like a henchman for Murder Inc. And they were trying to tell 50 to relax, calm down, leave him alone, and he didn't. That's why what happened to 50 happened to him. I woke up, the car pulled up on the side of us. A guy got out the passenger seat of that car, came around behind it, and shot through the actual car. The theory is that Supreme went after 50 for Murder Inc. And in the process could have potentially went after Jay because he was the one who put him on the path to start. A lot of crazy rumors and ghetto gossip about ridiculous theories. They love a juicy story, they, they just ran with it. But nobody ever contacted me about it or asked if I wanted an opportunity to address the rumors. And there was word that, you know, you put 50 Cent on the blacklist. I never, I never knew he was signed to Jay. I never knew he was signed to Jay. I mean, I, I knew Jay used to mess with him, but he was his prodigy, but I, I didn't know nothing about it as far as his business ends or if he was signed to him or, 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 or anything like that. Jay was cool. I never had a beef with him. Like, everything I know about Jay is just, like, just knowing, hearing about him in the hood, you know what I'm saying? And everything I knew about Jay was Jay was a cool dude. And that's as far as it went, you know, I, I would see him, we would, what's up, what's up, and that was it. Jay was a cool dude. I know Supreme very well. I'm from Queens, and I hustled, and I worked out there, and he saw me. And I'm going to tell you something. Supreme had a lot of love and respect for Jay, you know? But their paths don't cross each other. And if they did, they just do see, you know, hit each other. And